Good evening. Around 50 first floor apartments at the Black Bear Creek Apartments were damaged from flooding. Dozens of families were displaced a year ago. News Channel 15's Erin Rogers now caught up with some of those victims this afternoon, and she joins us with how they're rebuilding in our top story. I first met Rhian and Wright last year when she and her boyfriend were trying to save what few belongings they could after their apartment was flooded overnight. Today I caught back up with her to see how the last year has been. Wright said on the morning of June 1, 2013, she woke up to a foot of water and opened her bedroom door to see her belongings floating down the hallway. She says she had around $3,500 worth of damage because, like many of her other neighbors, she didn't have flood insurance. Luckily, she was able to move back in with her parents and save money until she could afford another apartment and car. She says she never got her security deposit back as promised, a chunk of money that could have helped her situation. She says going forward, she will always get flood insurance if she's on the bottom floor, even though she says it's a lesson she had to learn at a very high cost. I mean, I lost everything, you know, I mean, the stuff that, you know, like the couch and the table, that was easy to get replaced. But, you know, I lost a lot of things, too, you know, family photos, picture albums. The owner of the complex says they were only able to start renovations to the units within the last month because of the long claim process. In total, they're estimating around $1 million worth of damage and lost rent from the flood. But they do say all of the affected units will be newly renovated and available by September. And tonight on Nightcast, hear more about how the flood victim has gotten back on her feet over the year. Erin Rogers, News Channel 15.